So you have a beautiful background and the only thing that's missing is this rubber ducky. The only problem is you want to place him on the floor, but look, he's got all of this great detail and you're not really sure how to make all of this blend. You want to make sure that you're preserving all of the splashes around him, his reflection, the water. So you might think that you're going to be stuck either doing a really detailed selection or masking or maybe trying some of these different blend modes, but most of the time you wind up finding out that that doesn't work either. So let me show you a super quick and easy five second edit that you can use. So the first thing I'm going to do is just control T and I'm going to resize him, place him wherever I want him in the scene. Maybe I'll put him down there, flip him horizontal. So you can see he's got this box around him. All I'm going to do is click on the background layer, control J to duplicate, and then I'm going to control, or sorry, shift and click to select both of those layers, edit, auto blend layers, make sure stack images is selected, and click OK. See how nicely that blended right away? It created a few new layers. So we've got this top layer, which is just a merge of the bottom two. We don't need that. And then you're left with the duck layer and the layer underneath. So from here, if you zoom in, you can see we've preserved all of those nice details in the duck. He's blended beautifully. But if you have to do any painting on and off, this is where you can do that. I'm just going to make a few very minor, quick little adjustments. And for the most part, he is pretty well blended. You can also, I'm going to get rid of this background layer, and so I'm left with only the duck layer. And I can control T, move him around, but now he's going to be traveling with that beautiful reflection and all of those great details. So this is a really useful little hack that you can use in lots of different situations, and I feel like not a lot of people know about it. So hopefully that was helpful.